I want to talk about the severance pay. What did she just say? The rest of our share is the severance pay. You think you can take it? I'm going to take it. It's my right. I'm claiming half of the two hundred fifty thousand dollars in severance pay. Huh? My name is Anne. I've been with my husband James for forty years, and he's retiring this year. We have two children. Both of them have a family and left home. I thought James and I would get along well, enjoying our retirement days then, but he didn't think so at all. It's a shameful thing to say. I didn't realize it until I heard him talking in his sleep. I never thought I'd hear the same woman's name twice. Move, and it's coming. I jumped out of the bed, hearing James' words. What's going on? Oh, James talking in his sleep again. It shocks me every time he talks in his sleep. It's very rare that he talks clearly in his sleep. Get out of here right now! It's happening. I don't know what he's dreaming about. Once, I was so worried about his sleep talking, and I took him to a clinic. The doctor told me that. If I talk to him or waking up forcibly while he was talking in his sleep, it's not good for his health. Next morning, he often feels headache. Sleeping talking itself is not the problem. I could watch over him when it happens, but it always freaks me out and make me jump out of the bed. I feel like I'm the one suffering. And found it. She's coming. Now I appear in his dreams too. It seems he loves me a lot. Just when I thought I had it all figured out. Jen, get out of here. She found out I was cheating on her. Jen, don't worry. The flat was okay. The flat was okay. What kind of dream is this guy having? It brings me back bad memories. This Jane is the name of a woman he cheated on ten years ago. When I found out about the affair, they got down on their knees in front of me, cry and beg for my forgiveness, saying that they would never see each other again. She was twelve years younger than James and worked for his company. After that. She said she was going back to her parents' house. I didn't divorce him at that time because my younger boy Eddie was struggling looking for a job at that time. I was concerned that it would affect his future. The two of them bowed their heads miserably. I was disgusted, but I promised to the fact that it was a once-in-a-lifetime mistake. I wonder if James. Is dreaming about a dream of ten years ago, but the word "flat" bothers me. I remember she lived in the company dorm. It's strange. James is sleeping peacefully next to me. I hate him. How he dared to do such a thing to me again? I'm completely awake and try to make a plan to figure it out. I quickly find what I'm looking for. A laptop James bought a few years ago. Thanks to the kids, without he knowing, we synced his phone to his laptop. I turned on the laptop without any hesitation, but it's not working. Ah,、oh, that's right, the battery is off. I guess I was so angry that I forgot to charge it first, and that I couldn't even calm down for a few minutes until the laptop started up. And when the laptop turned on, and with WhatsApp synced, oh my God, I can't help but scream. It was filled with the conversations of he and a woman. Are you sure your wife doesn't know? She's not that smart. Well, but she found out before. She thinks you've been back to your hometown. My heart beats faster as I face the truth. I've told her we wouldn't get that much of severance pay. 
Let's just enjoy life together. Oh, she's miserable. How much did you tell her? I told her it was ninety thousand dollars. Did she believe you? Of course, she's a dumb. Ninety thousand dollars in severance pay? That's not what I heard. It's supposed to be two hundred and fifty thousand dollars. Fine, but what's this conversation? Doesn't look like it was from an old man and an old lady. James was still with her. This is unforgivable. And I scrolled back the conversation. I found something about the apartment. Apparently, they are buying a new one. I took out of my diary ten years ago, from the closet. In the diary, there should be a written pledge that I made them write ten years ago. The pledge says, "They will never see each other again. If they break this promise, both of them will pay an fifty thousand dollars each in alimony." James shook. Unconditionally transfer his land and house to his wife, Anne. That's what it is written in the pledge. If this happens, I could get what's written here. Oh, and the other half of the severance pay. I swear to myself that I will take everything I was supposed to get. I went straight to find a lawyer. Spent two days at the lawyer's office with my evidence. In his judgment, the evidence I had gathered was enough to fight the case. That's right. Thank God they built a lot of albums where the photos of the trip and the hotel are perfectly taken care. There's no way they can get away with it. But there's only one thing I'm worried about: the children. Even though they're both married now, it's their parents are going to divorce. I have to tell them everything. Feeling a little nervous, I called my son, Isaac. He wasn't as surprised as I thought he'd be. Oh God! Finally, yeah, he cheated on you before, didn't he? You were burying it for us. Well, yeah, it's a good thing. Live your life the way you want to, and thank you. For all you've done for us. By the way, when you get divorced, I'm going to cut it off with him. My first son was decisive. I called the other son, Eddie, and he was on the call. But five minutes later, he called back. Mom, you're getting a divorce. Oh, were you just on the phone with Isaac? Yeah, Mom. I think it's fine. Oh, thank you. I'm totally agree with it. Thank you for everything you've done for us. But I'm not gonna cut him off. You okay? Sure. He's your only father. That's something I have to separate from my divorce. Now that I have the kids' approval, all I have to do is get them together for the scene. James' retirement is in three months. I've been waiting for the right moment. And this timing couldn't be better. I checked the laptop and found a new conversation. I'm so looking forward to this weekend. Yeah, hope we can find our final place. Where are you going to ask your wife for a divorce? I'm thinking retirement. That's exciting. In their conversation, mentioned the location of a potential flat building. They're such a bunch of idiots. They don't even know we're watching them. I called Eddie. Hey, you free this weekend? I'm working during the day, but I'm available at night. I explained to him about James and the affair, and he agreed. He would help me. Then the weekend came. James has been on a bit of nervous since Saturday's morning. Oh, it's today, isn't it? I watched James' movement. You're out to work on your day off. That's unusual. Yeah, little busy recently. Is that so? What work? What? 
Why are you so surprised? Nothing. I'm just out of Tom. Okay. Good luck. You're retiring in three months. Did you think about the future? Um, we could get on a little vacation together. Oh, that's nice. Who's we? W what are you talking about? Me and you, of course. That's right. So, what's the severance pay going to be? Um, two hundred fifty thousand dollars. Yes, of course. Thank you for all your hard work over the years. I sent him off with a smile. This is the last time. My lawyer and I ambushed near the flat, where they were supposed to come. After about thirty minutes, James disappeared from the flat. He was really cheating on me. Somewhere in the back of my mind, I wished. He had never shown up here, but this is the truth. I just have to accept it. A pat on the shoulder from a strong ally lifts my spirits, and I open the front door of the flat they were visiting. Long time no see, Jan. The two of them were so shocked that I thought their eyeballs might fall out. I put a written pledge in front of them. Do you remember this? What what are you doing here? Why? Why what? How did you get in here? It's an auto door lock. That's your first concern. Of course, I unlocked it. I work for the company that managed this flat. Yeah, but the real estate agent is in different name. Of course not. It's the management company. It's not the real estate agency. James and Jane are freaking out. Well, you have to pay me fifty thousand dollars each. We have the evidence of the fair. By the way, this is my lawyer. So be good. Don't waste your time. I don't have that much, but you have enough money to buy this place. That's um. Well, that's his severance pay, isn't it? But James can tell you. If he told you, you'd find out the real amount. And you, you'd better keep your promise to. Fifty thousand dollars of alimony. Don't forget to change the title of the land and the house. A written pledge. It's invalid. Try me. It's true that a written oath will be of no use in court of law. That's what the lawyer said. But he is going to comply because of the kids. Dad, come on, man! Don't be such a loser at this point. At least show us your guts. You do it. You pay it. Be the man for this time. I've never seen you do anything doped either. Always making excuses. Just like the time you cheated on mom, get down on your knees and apologized, but learn nothing. How could we respect a parent like that? You got your last chance to do one thing right. The children's words brought him down. After that, he transferred fifty thousand dollars in alimony and changed the title of the land and the house to me, and we divorced. They have been together after that for five years, struggling. I'm not sure if it's because of the severance pay he paid all of the amount immediately. We're off to a very good start. I called them both for one last talk. Of course, the lawyer and the children are there too. You brought the kids again? Of course I did. They have the right to see this through the end. I have nothing more to say to you. Jen won't make an eye contact with me. Today, I want to talk about the severance pay. What did you just say? The rest of our share is of severance pay. You think you could take it? I'm going to take it. It's my right. I'm claiming half of the two hundred fifty thousand dollars in severance pay. 
No way. One hundred twenty-five thousand dollars. His severance pay is ninety thousand dollars. So you're only entitled to forty-five thousand dollars. That's not what I heard. Jen looked at James' face outrageously. What is she talking about? You told me it was ninety thousand dollars. Well, uh, I <laughs> about this guy. I really hope I could tell you at the first place, but I could not. He's not worthy, is he? You lied to me. I can't believe it. He is the reason why you've been single all your life. I'm sorry you wasted your life, but it's okay. You don't need money when you have love. I wish you all the best. And after James retired, I got his one hundred twenty-five thousand dollars. After that, James didn't buy that flat. He lived in a rented apartment with Jane. Jane, who was not working hard enough because she thought she could get the money, is working as a part time. And James is going to the local job center looking for help. They have been struggling with the money. This is all coming from Eddie. When Eddie found out what was going on between them, he blocked their contact. Eddie says he wanted to watch them fall. I don't think they're just falling, but I'm quite happy with the fact that they're living far from the future they envisioned. I never thought I'd end up divorced by the sleep talk. So glad I found out before they took the money away. Thanks for talking in the sleep. It's wonderful that Anne was able to put an end to her ex-husband in a satisfied way. It's difficult to bounce back if you cheat on someone whom you've been with for forty years, and get what you deserve. Not sure about the cheaters, but that's wish Anne's the best. Thank you for watching to the end. Please subscribe to our channel if you like. See you in the next video.